Hello and welcome back to Mark's Garden UK. In this box there is a brand new solar powered pond pump supplied by pondkeeper.co.uk and in this video we're going to open the box, see what's inside and then road test the solar powered pond pump. I've set up a little mock-up pond here. Now the reason I've done that is because that's a miniature of the pond that I'm about to create and that's what this pond pumps for. Let me explain. Over here by the pigsty and the pig pen there's an area of land and I'm going to dig it out down and then I'm going to sink these breeze blocks and build a subterranean wall underneath the ground there so the pond will be at ground level and then I'm going to line it with pond underlay and the pond liner and then this lovely bronze fish here is going to gurgle away and provide oxygen for the goldfish so this is going to be a goldfish pond now pond keeper were very supportive when i did my wildlife pond they supplied me with lots of advice and there's lots of free advice on their website and they've also got a helpline well that was a wildlife pond and i've not got any fish in that pond and i like some goldfish in my garden so that's why i'm creating a goldfish pond here so what we're going to do is open the box look inside try and set it all up wire it up to the bronze fish and then see how it works now i wasn't sure how to go about selecting the right pond pump for my pond a pond of this size so i asked pond keeper and i sent them a little drawing and they've come up with all this kit in here so let's go and open it i'm going to go over into the shade and, uh, and we'll see what's inside the box now I've created many a pond before using a traditional pond pump, but when it came to choosing a solar powered pond pump, I was a little bit daunted. So it was great to have a resource like pondkeeper.co.uk who could just email or send a chat to in their chat service or even call because they have a, a helpline with experts on it. So let's get inside this box and see what they've sent. And then we'll have a go at setting it up and testing it on this gloriously sunny day. So now let's go ahead and do one of those standard unboxing processes. I don't think unboxing is even a word, but you know what I mean. And you see quite a few of them on uh, on YouTube. So let's go inside the box and have a reasonable idea what's in here. Uh, all will be revealed. Um, this looks like an adapter. We have some pond pipe tube. Two different sizes because um, I've got two different um, size pipes to connect and then we've got some um, uh, clips there for connecting and some more clips from hose lock and some adapters to take the size up and down and we'll come to that in a moment and here is the solar fountain pump now these come in all different shapes and sizes and strengths and I was very specific with uh, Pond Keeper when I told them that I really only want uh, a trickle. I don't want anything that goes too fast and too powerful because it's just to cater for a little bit of water movement in quite a small shallow pond. I'm going to open this box now and we'll have a look at what's inside here. So let's move it to the other side of the table. Um, solar Shower 800. Uh, as I say, they do come in all different shapes and sizes and strengths. And this is produced by a company called Pond Expert. Um, we shall open the box and we shall see what is within. Now that looks like a little pump to me, wonderful. I'm being careful because if there's a solar panel in here, I don't want to damage it. Uh, I anticipate it might be a little bit uh, sensitive. Um, and then this, yes, is the solar panel. Oh, that looks quite technical. So now I shall look for some instructions. And here they are, the instructions. So I will now go away for five minutes, read the instructions and come back to you when I know a little bit more about this solar powered pond pump. Well, I've read the instructions and I've set it up and you might notice that I've got a huge smile on my face because this pump and this solar panel is doing exactly what I wanted to do. It's exactly the right power. And let me tell you what I've learnt in the process 
uh, reading the instructions, opening the box properly and setting it up. The first thing is the solar panel has a battery on it, which a bit like a hybrid car charges up as it's operating the pump. So that is currently charging a battery and operating the pump. And then when the light goes down, the battery kicks in and will continue to power the pump if it's fully charged for up to four hours. So conceivably, you could get to 10 o'clock at night when it goes dark and then have another four hours of moving water into the, the middle of the night. And then as soon as it becomes light again in the morning and the sun comes up, it starts operating and it starts charging the battery again. In any event, you also have an adapter here which you can plug in to the solar panel and plug into the mains and that will charge the battery as well at the same time. In addition to that, it goes on and on. You also get a little LED light which plugs into the back of the solar panel and will run simultaneously to the water pump because there's two sockets to plug into. So therefore you can put a little light at the bottom of your water feature or pond and it will give a lovely up light uh, when the battery's running the pump. The pump. Now on the box it says a solar shower 800. 800 refers to 800 litres of water per hour maximum and it also says maximum lift of two metres. Now my water ornament is going virtually at water surface level so if you want to put one higher up or if you're running a fountain that's up a hill you need to consider the maximum lift. Anyway it also comes with some fountain attachments so if you didn't have an ornament like I've got which is this lovely bronze fish you could attach the fountain attachments and let, let them squirt up in the air at the same time. Connection and installation was really easy. It was just a question of putting a pipe from the back of my ornaments into the pump, plugging the pump into the panel and then putting the panel into this pot. So now it comes with a spike that sits on the back of the panel and I put mine in a plant pot of gravel just for now. Um, but in theory, you could put that anywhere in the garden. It's got a cable of around, I think, four meters. So you could hide that discreetly over here in this corner where you can't see it and also it's got an on off button and it's got um, functionality to have just the light or just the pump or just charging so uh, I'm really pleased with that I have to say considering it's quite a tiny pump it's doing quite a good job and it's giving me just the effect I want which is the sound of running water and some circulation to put oxygen into the water for the goldfish that are going to go into the pond behind me when I've built a wall underground using those breeze blocks. So there we go. Hope you found that interesting and informative. I've enjoyed the process and I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, this is a mock-up pond, but I'm just going to leave that running for now uh, until I've got the other pond in place and um, you never know, birds might come down and, and drink the water when I'm not looking. But uh, quite wonderful. Don't forget, check out pondkeeper.co.uk. They've got a helpline. Uh, they've got experts on hand. You can ring them. You can order their free catalogue, which is a, a good read, actually. I can spend all night looking at a catalogue. And uh, they're always there to help. And they've been very supportive to me. So please do, if you can find it within yourself, have a look at them and support them too. I'll see you soon for the next instalment of my pond build, which will be digging the hole and doing some bricklaying, which is something I've never done before, but uh, I'll give it a go, I'll try anything. My father-in-law is a builder, so I'll go and uh, tap him up for some tips, and I'll be building a breeze block wall over here, underground, and then I'll be putting the, the underlay in, putting the liner in, putting the pond in, then I'll be stocking it up with some goldfish. That's all for now, I'll see you soon.